Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we've never met before, my name is Chelsea and I make new videos weekly on fashion, beauty, and travel. Subscribe down below for two videos a week. Today's video is all about Shades by Shan Cosmetics, and this video is part of my Bay Area Beauty series where I go behind the scenes on different beauty brands and services around the Bay. So I thought it'd be fun to do a video on some of my updated favorites from the brand, some things I am wearing on my face today. I wanted to share a little bit about the brand itself, their story, their founding, and a little bit about their philanthropic arm of the business that helps and gives back. So if you'd like to learn more about Shades by Shan, what they're all about, and the best products to check out, go ahead and keep watching. So Shades by Shan was started by Shan Berries, and I first got introduced to Shan Berries from the radio. If you guys are in the Bay, you might remember her on 99.7 on the radio and some other channels and stations over the years. She's amazing. So Shades by Shan is all about self-expression, feeling beautiful from the inside out, and giving back where you can. And their mission is all about helping single parents in need. You know, in the Bay Area especially, we know how high the cost of living is. It is especially difficult for single parents fathers, mothers, whoever. That's why a portion of the proceeds on Shades by Shan Cosmetics go back to the Mama Berries Foundation. And I just think that's so awesome. They are makeup with a mission. It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization. So let's hop into some of the products. I wanna start with lip products because that's probably what I use from the brand the most. And let's start with what I'm wearing today. I love the Shades by Shan lip glosses. Now I was first introduced to the brand by way of the liquid lipsticks. They sell liquid lipsticks in kits with a liquid lip and a pencil but it's the glosses I really fell head over heels for. So the two I am wearing today are the shades of Vicky and Champagne. And now if you follow my Project Pan series, I will link that playlist up above. This product is in the project because it's almost done. It's probably down to there and it's the most beautiful pinky champagne shimmer gloss and Vicky is like the perfect nude. Vicky is a cream finish with no glitter and then Champagne is a shimmery finish. With Champagne, you can't feel the glitter on your lips. It's just beautiful and light reflective and just gorgeous. Now, because my eye makeup today is a little more smoky, bronzy, glam, I wanted to go with like a nude, understated, just glossy gloss. And this is the combination I went with. I love these, they're a no-brainer. I always have them in my bag. These are my two MVP lip glosses, I would say, but let me share some of the others. Another shimmer gloss they make is Erica, and this one is more like a shimmery pearl finish. It's like a peachy gold. This is Gabriella. It is like more of a deep, mauve -y, your lips fit better pink. And then A1, which is a clear gloss. The glosses here are Gabriella, Vicky, Champagne, Erica, and A1. What I love most about the gloss is that they are not sticky or thick. It's a nice gloss that you can reapply throughout the day. It doesn't dry out your lips. As for the liquid lips, I have three to share here. We have Mission, Ingleside, and Pumpkin Spice. Now, these two are sold in a lip kit where you get the liquid lip plus a lip liner. The lip liner formula is impeccable. I actually used up the entire lip liner for the Mission lip kit. So those come with lip liners and then shades like Pumpkin Spice are limited edition. Rumor has it it's coming back this year. This one was available in last year's holiday collection which was a gift set. I think you got three glosses and three liquid lips. And if I'm not mistaken, this one has a Pumpkin Spice scent. This one has a little bit of a different scent, I feel like. So we've got Mission, Ingleside, and Pumpkin Spice. The liquid lipsticks are nice and thin. They do dry down to a matte finish, and they have lots of classic colors, but also really on-trend colors as well. When it comes to the Shades by Shan liquid lipsticks and lip glosses, there's truly something for everyone. But I would say in terms of what I wear more, it has to be the lip glosses. Now let's jump into eyes. Shades by Shan also has eyeshadow palettes, both nine pan palettes and quads. This is a limited edition holiday palette from last year, the Wishlist palette. Nine gorgeous holiday themed shades, but something you can wear truly all year round. There are four really pigmented, shimmery foiled shadows in this palette. Then there are five really pretty everyday wearable mattes. I would say I've used you know these two rows the most, the third row not as much. During the holidays I love a bold red lip so I kind of stick to these two rows of shadows but if you like something more smoky and dramatic definitely you have a lot to work with in here. It's what I have on my eyes today. I have glistening in my inner corner, pink champagne on the lid. I have a mixture of honey rose on my crease and espresso in the outer corner. This quad is the Berry Obsessed palette. Admittedly, I haven't used this one that much. This is like the perfect quad for just that classic smoky eye. There's a lot you can do with these simple four colors, two shimmers, two mattes, and you can make a classic smoky eye. Now for the quad I've gotten a little more use out of. This is the Berry Sweet palette. And again, you get four shadows. You get two shimmers and two mattes. I don't always reach for a matte black like in the other palette. 
I much more reach for like a dark chocolatey chestnut brown to add some liner or definition around my eyes. It's just a little bit softer. I just love a good brown in the crease and a shimmer on the lid. Keep it simple. I would even use the browns in this quad as like a brow powder, you know, if I was traveling on the go. Shades by Shan also does holiday collections and limited edition releases throughout the year. So there are more palettes in this, but those are the ones that I have that I recommend. Next up is a liquid shimmer shadow. You can use this so many different ways, but this is called the Glitz and Glam, and this was part of the holiday collection last year yet again. You can see it on my hand right there. It is foiled metallic blinding. Of course, use this for your cut crease looks. You can use it as just a lid color. It is just stunning. It's so foiled, so metallic, and I really hope they re-release this for the holidays this year because something like this is just it's one and done. For when I want like my makeup to really, really pop, this is something I reach for, just like to finish off my look and give my eyes that little extra bam. Last up is the Berry Blush Palette, and this is a four pan blush palette. You have very, very vibrant pigmented blush shades, and truly something for everyone, and definitely deep skin friendly. So there is a berry blush, a hot pink blush, a light pink blush, and a peachy pink blush. So lots of versatility with this palette, and again, very, very, very pigmented blushes. So I am wearing a mixture of the peachy pink and the light pink today on my cheeks. So I take a little bit of each, kind of swirl it around, tap off the excess, and gently buff into my cheeks. All right, friends, that is a wrap. Those are all my favorite products from Shades by Shan that I can recommend. If you were considering checking out the brand, I will, of course, have them linked down below. I love that they are a makeup brand with a mission. In a world where you have so many choices of where to spend your money, places to shop, places to get your makeup, I just really love supporting small companies, entrepreneurs, and people just doing good in the world. Love supporting locally based, San Francisco based brands. And be sure to follow me on social media. I have lots of looks over my Instagram featuring the products. So definitely follow me there. And if you have any Shades by Shan favorites, definitely leave them in a comment down below so we can all check them out. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.